We about to react to this one, right? Let's go. Okay, this music keep me groovy. Tap my feet and watch a movie. We can make a movie star and roll yours truly. Your reaction says it all. Man, I got them pissed off. I be speaking only facts. I mean, how can I be wrong? This music bleeding through my veins. Getting that zone, might think I'm insane. Hopping on track, watch out as a train. Don't get hit, better stay in your lane. This my passion, got the gas and about to roll it up. Do what I want, don't give no fuss, no one controlling us. Hey, hit the road, max it out. Trump and beat, no turn it down. Ooh, those speakers booming, booming. Need respect, don't want that clout. Who's your ex? Man, I be whack. Doing numbers like we in a trap, you ain't no killer, stop all that cap Tap in with me, get put on the map Bossed up, no, I can't settle rock Stock, keep heavy metal, hip-hop head We bout to rebel top tier Get on my level, Bruce reacts That's the channel, need to tune in Sub now, why you waiting, what you doing? What up? Welcome back to my channel We're here for another reaction Another uh, hip-hop reaction We're gonna get into this Khan Columbine. Uh, when when people were recommending songs by Khan, they asked me what kind of music I get into. I get into all type of rap, but storytelling is my favorite. And they gave me songs that they felt like were uh, storytelling. So Columbine, definitely, I can I can see. I'm sure, you were talking about Columbine or, or a student, a, the perspective of a student shooting up a school, maybe, or or this is the mind state before so let's get into this this is a lyric video shout out to uh, Lost in Vegas they did a reaction to this three years ago I'm so behind but I wouldn't do a reaction three years ago so let's get into this uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. This the story of Ronald, the loneliest kid you'll ever meet. You'll probably never meet him because you've never seen him in the street. Ronald stays in the house, been pretty depressed since his dad passed. And left him in the darkness of his room with insecurities. But with off to consume a fifth of poisonous fumes. Proceeding with an epiphany to beat his mother senselessly. Ronald stuck in the middle to struggle to pull him off. Or his mother received pain and dropped it off at the altar. She finally realized that she was stuck in the cycle. And not to miss weighing options of taking her own life. Or dealing with all the problems she wanted to raise. Ronald realizing that the Domestic violence probably changed, Ronald. It's Monday afternoon, 3 p.m. to be exact. Was exiting the bus. <coughs> that usually is what causes stuff like that, like um, like abuse. I'm not saying like this, like punishing your child, but like just abuse for no reason. Like maybe it's like an alcoholic father or mother that just beats and tortures a kid, or it can come from like a really spoiled child that gets his way no matter what so he his, he wants to kill his parents it was like two different vibes you know what I mean way he was bullied by his peers entering the house and walking right into his fears seen blood drip from the top to the bottom stair with a glare he sees his mother and releases a screech he saw her veins split in half with a blade by her feet couldn't believe the scene that his eyes were forced to receive drops to his knees god please let this all be a dream but it wasn't and paramedics start arriving to the residence his father already riffing about the cost of the funeral and now so was it like a um blackout moment and then obviously his father, who called the police? It had to be his father. So, and obviously he knew she was dead. Or it could be a spin that his dad could go to. He's in the living room, belligerent as usual. Ronald's a punching bag for his dad who's leaving bruises. The victim and victimizer relationship is abusive. Ronald's only 13 with the deprivation of dreams. His father's an alcoholic who's more concerned with his liquor than he is his own seed. Go get me a beer, nigga. His father was complicated. He didn't believe in limits. A man of little conviction who's struggling with addiction and now become well conditioned from drinking with repetition on a downward spiral. He loads the clip of his rifle, saying a prayer like he's searching for forgiveness. It's a futile attempt to. Lord refuses to forgive him for that lifetime of sinning. Now you praying for repentance, all that out God dependence. He was physically dependent. Then he says a Hail Mary, kiss the crucifixion, penance, puts the barrel to his chin like this is the end, friends. Now Ronald's left all alone in the system of foster homes full of pedophilic predators molested on the regular. Teachers don't understand why he hardly ever speaks and his grades are getting worse as he academically plummets. Developed a speech impediment to pain. He's impervious. It's from his foster mother who's sneaking under his covers. Ronald doesn't understand because he has yet to reach Puberty confused by perverted love he receives on the regular. He tries to fight the feeling, but she always gets the best of him. This bitch is taking his soul, and now there ain't nothing left of him. Solitude in his room as he sits in the. This is deep. Like, 
it it is a cycle because people can see if you're vulnerable they can see like they take your experiences and use them against you like there was a documentary i forget so i'm not gonna get into it because i don't know the name there was a documentary about that like these uh, little um catholic school girls and the uh priests like at the school were take like you know like you do the um confess your sins and the people thing they were doing that and they were saying like oh my uncle raped me so they were taking that and use it against them you know what I mean and raping them too it was it's a deep documentary I forget what it's called in the darkest corner, he's medicating his pain with strains of marijuana. Refuse to talk to a pastor, he don't believe in religion. He said if God resides, then my mother would still be living. Instead, she left me in hell, the agony of this prison. No one understood that that was his defensive mechanism. Not knowing that he wanted to push the pain that he was given. The direction of a person that's living without a purpose. He made it up in his mind that these motherfuckers deserve it. In a world where this child was abused and left deserted. He started studying killers such as John Wayne Gacy and those kids from Columbine. He saw them as masterminds before affected the blueprint and with the rifle Ronald's accurate the same barrel his father uses now his muse he loads the clips and he cocks it as he throws it in the duffel smell of death teen spirit and a whole lot of trouble he's bumping Marilyn Manson you could probably feel the treble Ronald never talks to God conversations with the devil like please give me the strength to kill all of these motherfuckers as he's walking in the school with a fucking Mac 11 he's done with the disrespect so he's aiming it at your neck popping plenty of rounds and laying his peers down as the blood starts to puddle the children begin to huddle running dodging the Bullets, Ronald's finger on the trigger. If he sees you, then he pulls it. His classmates are his target. Then it's hotter than August from automatic magazines he's releasing. This a massacre, genocide of his generation. And generally speaking, he's giving generous portions of bullets that come and they seek and they singe. Cleansing them of his sins. I'm guessing this is the end. Cause Ronald saved the very last shot for himself. So he places the barrel inside the center of his chest. Close his eyes, take a breath, and the rest you can attest to. Story of pain and agony written by yours truly. It's a treacherous allegory. I hope you never confuse it, don't lose it. That was a very deep, but true song. Like, it's not a song about a lot of people, but it's a song about a lot of people. If you get what I'm saying? Like, I'm saying not a lot of people, as in the part of, I guess there is a lot of mass, mass shootings in schools, but they don't televise a lot of it, unless they want want you to know about it, but I'm just saying like, there are people that go through this every day that don't amount to that uh, amount of violence, but they could, so man, let's, let's just all respect each other and get along stop bullying people you don't want to get bullied, so don't bully nobody else. That's how I live this. I li- how I live my life. I I treat people how I want to be treated. So I don't understand why people don't do that. Like I, most people are hypocrites. But with that being said, that was a good video. Again, he has a good um, cadence and rhyme and like a uh, good story. Good, uh, he got a good pen. You know what I mean? But uh, I have a, I have a lot more people. I mean, uh, on this list, I'm gonna probably get into later because I got other artists to get into. But uh, check out my other con um, reactions on my page. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't, and if you have subscribed, thank you. Um, give me a thumbs up, share it, Facebook. Um, but I'm about to get out of here. Thanks again. Top tier, get on my level, Bruce reacts. That's the channel, need to tune in. Sub now, why you waiting? What you doing?